Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. If I told you that there's a plant that can be used to treat various diseases because of its properties, would you believe it? Which plant would you say it is? Leave your guess in the comments. This plant is a relative of the daisy, marigold, and dandelion. It's also known as Matricaria, Tanacetum parthenium, and has been used since the first century to reduce fevers, treat headaches, arthritis, menstrual irregularities, stomach aches, and many other uses. Little chamomile, as it's also called, has tremendous power to cure diseases in its delicacy. It's easily found in Asia, North America, Europe, and Brazil. Learn more about the amazing benefits of this delicate little flower now. It helps against fever. As mentioned above, it's been used to treat fevers since the first century. It's no coincidence that it's also known as feverfew. Increased appetite. It's excellent for stimulating appetite and is very suitable for people who cannot eat properly. But even those who can't gain weight will benefit from its use. Fights headaches and migraines. The analgesic and sedative effects of chamomile make the plant a well-known fighter of headaches and migraines. While the analgesic substances fight the pain itself, the sedative properties dilate the compressed blood vessels that are the cause of migraines. Helps with respiratory problems. It also has antispasmodic and anti-inflammatory properties, so it helps fight respiratory diseases and mucus accumulation. It can also relieve inflammation in the respiratory tract such as irritation that causes coughing, shortness of breath, and mucus secretion. Relieves pain. In addition to headaches and migraines, it's also used to combat localized pain throughout the body, which is related to its anti-inflammatory properties. Prevents the formation of blood clots. Matricaria also helps prevent blood clots. And do you know why this is important? Among the problems that can result from the formation of blood clots in the blood vessels are heart attacks and strokes. Improves menstrual flow and relieves PMS symptoms. Little chamomile can also help relieve some discomforts that occur during menstruation. It's effective against cramps and reduces anxiety and mood swings. Contributes to skin health. Research from 2009 showed that matricaria has a strong anti-inflammatory effect, suggesting that it can relieve inflammation in the skin. For this reason, it's an excellent anti-inflammatory to relieve redness on the skin. The plant can be part of a topical remedy to relieve rash and rosacea a condition characterized by redness and inflamed lesions. Did you enjoy learning more about the benefits of the plant? Here's how to prepare the tea to take advantage of all these benefits. To prepare the tea, you'll need one gram of dried matricaria leaves and flowers, available in health food stores, and 200 milliliters of drinking water. Boil the water first, then add the leaves of the herb to the boiled water. Let the tea steep for 10 minutes, covered. Then simply strain the tea and serve. The tea can be drunk with or without a sweetener. It's recommended to drink up to 3 cups, 120 milliliters, of matricaria tea per day for up to 15 days in a row. After 15 days of continuous tea consumption, one should take a break for at least 15 days. Consumption isn't suitable for children under 10 years of age and for people who are sensitive to the plant, such as pregnant and lactating women. Also, it should be remembered that chewing matricaria leaves or flowers isn't recommended as it can cause severe irritation in the mouth. Excessive consumption of the plant may also cause unpleasant side effects, such as stomach pain, diarrhea, headache, vomiting, and others. The medicinal use of little chamomile is recommended only for the relief of symptoms or for the control of mild diseases. Did you enjoy learning more about matricaria and how to take advantage of its benefits? If you already knew, tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed learning more about the plant, share this information with the people you want to see healthy. I wish you good health. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.